LA 3110. You all 44 21. What type of statement do you think this was? Yeah, I think uh, guys were just ready to go. They're excited to get out there and show what we had. Uh, we've we've kind of the whole offseason, everybody's asked us the questions of what this offense, what this team's going to look like. And uh, we, we've always believed that we were going to go out there and, and put on a show, and I thought guys did that. Um, and so to go out there and win a game against a really good football team and to win decisively, it's a, it's a good start. I mean, obviously, you know, when you look at training camp and what we talked about during the preseason, uh, your relationship with the with your new with your new uh, skill skill players, how comfortable do you feel out there with them now in live for you know against an opponent? Yeah, I mean, I'm very comfortable with them. You saw the guys stepped up and made plays, uh, tough contested catches. Like Juju and Marquez made a, did a great job with that. And then obviously the tight ends played well and the running backs played well. Um, the only one I was missing was McColl. I owe McColl two touchdowns. So uh, that, it was, uh, I was glad I got him with the one at the end there. But, uh, I mean, he was getting open, and he's had a good camp getting open on those routes. I just have to connect on those if we want to continue to get better. Patrick, you had, the, you had your wrist taped up mm -hmm. ball on it or what happened? Yeah, yeah, I fell on it uh, on that first touchdown. Kind of just threw my hand back and fell on it. But uh, I just got looked at, and everything looked good. So uh, hopefully it's not something that lingers around, something that we can kind of get cleared up here uh, quickly. How's that feeling now? I mean, it's sore now for sure. Um, but, uh Definitely, we went and looked at it and got all the x-rays and stuff like that. Everything looked good. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we're happy with that. And now, I mean, it's a short week, so you have to be ready to go. Um, but as the season goes on, you're going to have those bruises and, and, uh, and stuff like that. You have to be able to play through them. Did you feel like today was going to be a particularly important day for you because of what you said, all the new guys, people sort of wondering what this offense was just going to be like for you? Week one, I think, is important for everybody, um, but especially with us new guys. You want to set a, a, a tempo. You want to set the kind of the culture of how we do things. And, uh, I mean, in training camp, training camp. And we run a tough training camp, and guys grind it through that. But when it gets to the game, you kind of see who everybody is. And I think you saw as guys stepped up and made uh, plays whenever their number got called. Um, and like I said, it was, it's going to come from everywhere. It's not going to be one guy. I haven't looked at the stats or anything like that, but I know a lot of different guys made plays in the game. So, Patrick, you've had, some, you've had some big games no matter the time of season, but you're five for five with big games in season Anything you put your finger on why you started off so well in the years? Yeah, I think first off, I think it's Coach Reed getting more weeks to game plan. I mean, that's always a good thing for good thing for me because he's getting guys kind of running wide open. Um, but then I think it's how we do training camp. He, we, I think Coach Reed does a great training camp. It's hard. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. It's it's hard for everybody. Um, but I think it prepares you to be ready week one. Um, and then you go out there and you just execute. Uh, Coach Reed has a great game plan. In you have guys flying around that are ready to go, uh, ready to play a uh, game and not be at practice against each other. Um, and we've done a great job of just executing in, in week one. Now it's carried on to, to week two. You mentioned having a spread attack going to different guys. Because of that element, does it make it easier when a team blitz you? Yeah, I think especially when you get the guys that we have, I think guys are smart. Um, they they kind of break off their routes. I mean, if you see sometimes we have guys kind of all in the same areas because everybody sees the blitz and is trying to get there faster. So so it's uh, we have a lot of smart guys in this offense and know how to get themselves open quickly versus the blitz. Um, and they, they're able to recognize his co uh, coverages. So uh, whenever you have smart guys that are athletic as well, it makes it hard for the defense to kind of account for. I know it's, uh, I know it's just you know, the second game of the season, but the uh, – you know, Los Angeles Chargers, they've beaten the Chiefs the last two mm -hmm. years uh, at home. How important is this game, obviously, because this, you know, this will be their second division game in the road, but how, <coughs> how important will it be for you all to make sure that you come out on top of this Thursday night? Yeah, I mean, we'll be ready to go. I mean, it's going to be the home opener at Arrowhead, so it's always important to win that one um, against the Chargers, who are going to be someone that's going to be in the playoff picture and someone that's going to be battling for the AFC West uh, championship. So last year we let them come in, I think, week two and beat us at home. Um, so we have to learn from that and find a way to, to, to claw out a win and, and beat a really good football team. Obviously, 